can actually go inside the elephants. So here you have MBK and that's the National Stadium station which is the end station of the Ceylon Line. Nice view of the Victory Monument. So this is the Pearl. Uh, good afternoon. I'm here at the Keha station on the Superbeat BTS line and today I have a long video for you guys. I am gonna ride the whole Superbeat line. It's about 53 and a half kilometers long. 47 stations. So I'm starting here at the station E23 which is Keha. And E23 stands for Eastern Line number 23, but we're actually quite south of Bangkok. So let's wait for the train to start. Okay, so the whole Sukhumvit line has 47 stations and uh, we starting Okay, I will try to uh, let the announcements come through all the time So we started at uh, station E23 and uh, which is Keha which is the last station in the south and we are on our way now to the Crew Cot station, which is N24. Every station in uh, Thailand or every station in Bangkok has its number. And E means for the Eastern Line number 23. Okay, so we're going through a bend here. Yeah, so the total trip should take around one and a half hour. To be correct, it's 53.58 kilometers, which is 33.29 miles. So here we are at the Sai Luat station. So where we just got in at uh, Keha, that's also where you can go to if you want to go to the ancient city. And um, we made a video one time on the sea, where you have all the seagulls. And I will put a link to that video as well. If you go to the station E23, you can take a taxi from there and then uh, head in that direction. So this uh, train line goes through three provinces. So we are starting here in the Samut Prakan province. There you see the, the view tower of Samut Prakan. And then we'll get into the Bangkok province. And the last station, the Kukot station, is in Patung Thani. Patumtani is also where you find the Rangsit malls.
Yeah, the view tower that you see there unfortunately hasn't opened yet. It does have really nice uh, lights at night. So it's like a, yeah, a beacon, a sight to see. But unfortunately it's not possible to get in there yet. It's at the river mouth of the of the Chao Praia River. So this is, uh, together with the Ceylon line, these are the two original first BTS lines and they opened in 1999 in December and on the King's birthday and there's many big transport projects that are opened on the King's birthday. I think I mentioned that in another video already but uh, you know I love to repeat myself. Yeah, there in the back you can see some installations of the port. And now you get a good view of the view tower. In 2019, the Sukhumvit line had 740,000 riders, and with that, it's the busiest transport line in Bangkok. So yeah, this is all Samut Prakan, as I mentioned before, and there's uh, here there's a very nice river promenade. Especially in the evening, you can go here, and as you can see, it's easy to connect with uh, with the train. And there across, you have a white chedi, and it's a very nice temple. I made a video about that as well. And there's a little island in the river, and that chedi that you see, that uh, yeah, I made a video about it where I said this is the Lady Liberty of Thailand. So basically anybody who came to Ayutthaya or came to Bangkok uh, when Bangkok was the capital, they, uh, this was the first site that they would see. So as you can see, this is the entrance of the Chao Praia River. And if you want to go here, this is the Paknam station, number E19. Ah, we have a few more to go. I charged my uh, my phone batteries completely and my gimbal, so I hope I can make it. <laughs> You know, Anna from Anna and the King, she also wrote about that temple that uh, that was one of the most impressive things that she's seen in the Kingdom of Siam.
always when you have this uh, like naval bases or air force you have these covers in front so you cannot really look into the premises from the station yeah so this line is the longest line in Bangkok and uh, they are planning to extend it with four more stations in the north and four more stations in the south so uh, it's gonna be even a little bit longer Yeah, to ride this whole line at the moment is 59 baht. You see a lot here you can see a lot of constructions going on and as always where there is new stations and new extensions of uh, transport lines there is constructions so this is the Chang era one station and uh, from here this is the station that you can take if you want to go to the Erwan museum which is the big elephant which I will show you and the station number is E17 I have to do the switcheroo Yeah, so Chang in Thai is elephant, so the beer has an elephant on the, on the brand name, so you can uh, check it out. This is actually quite an interesting museum. I've been there twice and I'm sure I'm gonna go and uh, show it to you guys again. The owner of this museum is also the owner of the ancient city which is a very nice attraction as well. I will make a video of it before the whole COVID situation stops. I just need to make sure that it's open. And it is just a, quite a remarkable building. So you can go inside and you can actually go inside the elephants. factory halls in this area so this is a big Toyota factory yeah, in this part of the city you have a lot of industry and there in the back you can see the skyline of the city
Yeah, so we're getting now to the Samrong station, which uh, is actually the last station in the Samut Prakan province. So the next one after this is going to be Bangkok. Here at the Samrong station, you will have the connection with the yellow MRT line. Here you can see the train station of the yellow MRT, which is going to be a monorail. And of course, on this side you have new buildings because this is a perfect location where you have uh, the crossroads between two metro lines, the metropolis. So the next station is Bering and Bering used to be the end station of this train for quite a long time. Sometimes I come here when I do my bicycle rides, make a quick stop here at the Imperial World. So the part that we just did, just opened a couple of years ago, so it was a relatively new extension. So the next station is Banga, which is uh, next to the Bike Tech, which is a big convention center.
So you can see that uh, they're using a different type of station here. And because with all the newer stations, I had the name of the station down here, and now it's a little bit further. So it's a different uh, layout. with the Birage office tower and there you have the Bangna Trat highway So now you have a good view of the Bangkok Mall, the constructions. I made that video a couple of weeks ago. Well, this is a better view than I had in that whole video. <laughs> yeah, okay, you have some massive residential projects here as well. There's the Elio. In the back there, it's like five or six towers. Udomsuk. Yeah, and Udomsuk is the station. If you want to take the free bus to IKEA, you can come here to Udomsuk. see the skyline of the city coming closer and closer True digital park and the temple in the back there. Yeah, you can see there's a, a getting more and more construction, more and more buildings. So you can see that we are nearing the well, city center, we're getting closer to the city center. Punawiti is station E11, so it's like a countdown, right? We started at E23, so we had 12, and now uh, we only have 35 more to go. So if you remember the video that I made about the serpent, this is the office building where they filmed it. This is where they filmed the police station.
So the next station is E9, which is Onut. And when I came to Bangkok, Onut was the last station on the east, on the eastern line, which actually at that point it meant it was quite east. But then after that, the line makes a bend down south. But yeah, the original line was from Onut to Mochi. And Mochi you will see later as well. There's plenty of buildings here, so I'm gonna just film it straight forward. Uh, I made another video from Payatai to Onut, where I'm filming the other side. So I will uh, put a link in the description here as well, so you can check that one out. The Tesco Lotus in Onut. I remember when I came here to Bangkok, this was uh, the end of the world. <laughs> now it's a, a part of the city center and it's getting get busy here as well. We have more and more uh, people in the train. This is also the part where uh, where I do know all the stations by head. Yeah, Prakanon is a nice area. You have the W district, which is a great place to to eat in the evening. And uh, we're actually crossing the Prakanon now. And this is one of the clones that I like to bike along. Or canal. Yeah, Prakanon Onut, they are very nice residential areas. The prices are a little bit lower than when you rent something in Asok or Nana or Chitlom or Klonchit or Prompong. This is a new mall that they built here. Krakenon for a very long time didn't have a, a shopping thing. But this is more for restaurants. Krakenon. That one there is for Tim and Linda. <laughs> Yeah, you will notice that uh, at this part the train is going to get more and more busy. You can see already that there is more people now. And uh, in Siam, there are a lot of people are going to get out. And then we're going to head up north. This is the Ekamai area. I used to live in here. I think we lived here for like two or three years before the Gateway Mall opened. So this is the Gateway Mall here, a Japanese lifestyle mall. Mainly restaurants.
down here you have the Eastern Bus Terminal. If you want to take a bus to Patia, Kochang, Kosamet, you can take it from there. And minivans as well. This is an interesting new office building. I think it's called T1. Yep. <laughs> so here we're getting to Tonglor. There is a new ideal Q building. Yeah, this is all very familiar territory. This is the new Essen. So I guess this is the area that most people that visit Bangkok and come to the city. I mean, I'm not talking if you only go to Kalsan, but if you come to the city, you probably know this. Big new construction here, UOP, head office. From home. <laughs> a fly came in. <laughs> yeah, so here we'll have the Benja Siri Park. I did a live stream there when it just opened again. And as you can see, people are walking around. And here you have the Marriott Hotel, the is completely renovated. And this is the M Sphere. So now a nice building update of the Amsphere as well. I will make a video about that very soon. So 24. So now we're the next station is Asok, and uh, this is the area where I live between Asok and Nana. So I'm riding home, but then I'm gonna keep riding away again. The exchange tower. And there in the back you have the Benja Kitty Park.
I know a lot of you guys were waiting for this one and it's also one of my favorite announcements and especially when you come here in the beginning in Bangkok the way that they say Nana is phenomenal <laughs> so let me keep quiet and let you guys listen Yeah, this is the station where I uploaded the video about the rain where it was like really really raining like crazy Consider the, the kind of the business district together with us. Plenty. Wireless road. This is a new construction office tower as well. one road and here at the end you get to Lumpini Park So Chitlong was station E1, East 1, and Siam is the only one that has a doesn't have an E or an N or a South or whatever, it's just Central. So this is the Ratchadamri. And here you see the connection with the Ceylon line. And this is the police area, with the new police hospital, and new construction going on here. Yeah, so we're halfway now. We just did 23 stations from the E numbers. So now we have 24 more up going north. Yeah. 
and what I said here in Siam, you will see that a lot of people are gonna get out. One of the main, well, this is the transport hub. So 24 more stations to Kukot in Patum Thani. So that's the train that will that train will go to National Stadium. And that's the Ceylon line. So here we have the MBK to the right and there in the back you have a nice view of uh, the whole Silom area. So here you have MBK and that's the National Stadium station which is the end station of the Silom line and the Bangkok Art and Culture Center. So you can consider this the heart of the city, especially if you look at retail and shopping. This is the Klong Seng Set down here. So here you can see number N1 Rachatewi. So here we are crossing Petbury Road and this is the one that I made where they got all the wires out, do you remember? So here we're getting to Piatai and this is the airport rail link station so here you can connect if you want to go to Suvanaboom Airport and there we have the Bayok Tower.
it's a similar bend that it also makes actually uh, at the Bang Natrat Highway. But with the Victory Monument, it's nice because you get a very good view of the monument itself. So in this area you have a lot of uh, like hospitals and there is a medical university here as well. Nice view of the Victory Monument. highways so if you go in the direction of Khao San for example you pass here and then you definitely notice the the track of the BTS and there in the back you see the golden tower of the government uh, complex Here we're at the San Ampao station. It's actually quite a ride. <laughs> I mean, it's one and a half hours. San Ampao. So here in Ari you have a few nice new office buildings. So this is the Pearl.
that I filmed the other day as well. will be built in the future but um, not yet if it happens I will let you know The next station is Mochit, which is one of the original stations from the first uh, BTS that opened in 1999. It used to be the northern end station. And here in front you have the Chattu Chak Market. JJ Mall and then there in the back you have the Bangsu Grand Station here's the market yeah, actually with this train ride um, we almost covered the whole city most of the things that I showed you at some point uh, will pass and this is the park Chattu Chak Park. And this is also one of the stations where many people will get out. view of the park here and here the BTS has a big bridge over the highway and you can see this skywalk here that connects a couple of the residential areas with the Machit station station is Ha Yek Lat Prao and there you'll find the central Lat Prao mall yeah, and this is uh, for me considered the new part again I think this opened uh, maybe two years ago now As you can see, quite a big park, all this green here. There you see one of the stations of the red SRT line. 
and this is the highway that you would normally take if you go to Don Huang Airport. And then here we have the central plaza Lat Prao. So let me show you here the Union Mall. I haven't filmed the Union Mall yet, so should be doing that. So because this is all new trains, if you take the train from here up north, the prices are lower. A lot of people come in here. Here you have the elephant building and it's called the elephant building because it looks a bit like an elephant if you look at it from the side. You see it?
again you can see on the style that this is the newer type of stations again so the next station is the Kasset Sat University and um, I'm gonna have to go and get my foldable bike one time and go and have a look there. Yeah, there's a very nice park here where a big part of the university is located. Art is always biking he tells me so I should go and, uh, and try it out one time So this is a part of Bangkok that is quite new to me as well. I have not ventured out in this area too much. Well, this whole trip is uh, 53 kilometers, so you can imagine. It uh, covers quite a bit of the city. Yeah, so here in the north of the city, in the direction of the airport, you also find a lot of military complexes.
So there's a, even a football team with its own stadium in here. So there in the back you see a big building which is the Chiang Watana Immigration Center. So this was station N16, so the next one is going to be Wat Prasi Mahatat and that used to be the end station for about a year. I made a video there as well. I know I keep repeating myself, but it is what it is. And there you have a... There you have a connection with the pink MRT line. The pink monorail. So this is also a nice opportunity to, to have a construction update. So this is, this is the Wat Pra Shimahatat. Let me show you on this side. Here you have the construction of the pink MRT line. Doors will open on the right hand side of the train. Yeah, and if you want to go to the immigration office, you could opt to get out here. We made a video about that. Then um, you can just grab a taxi. You see all the taxis down there? And you just say that you want to go to Chiang Watana and you're good. And there you see the pylons of the MRT line. A lot of construction going on in this area. So I actually made a video from here until the end station. There you can already see one of the pink MRT stations. Here we are also getting in the area of the Don Muang Airport. But this is on the other side of the airport, so there is no connection from here if you want to fly. You have to wait until the dark red SRT line will open, and that should be in July of this year. Oh, no. 
นยอดที่59ป้าหนยอดที่59So this was station N18, so we have six more to go. I'm gonna tell you a secret, I've been holding this camera for more than one hour straight and I can feel it. Eh? But I'm not complaining. So let me show you a bit on the other side as well. There in the back, you can see the the planes of the airport. Yeah, but I remember after this, there's going to be a big screen, so we're not going to have a nice view of the airport. So you see the whole fleet of Air Asia in front and then in the back there you can see the train station, the Donmon Red SRT train station. Yeah, so that should, next month it should be possible to go to the airport there with the train.
So as you can see, the train is almost empty here now. You can really see the areas where you go through where it gets busy. So the next station is the Air Force Museum. And I was thinking already a long time to go there, but I just still didn't do it. Very interested to go and have a look there. Everything is covered on both sides. It's almost like going through a tunnel. I see they are repairing the F-16. As good a time as any time to do repair work, right? You might remember I made a video about the future rank sit and the spell mall there. And uh, to get there, I actually took the train here, and from here, I took a taxi in that direction. And the future rank sit is uh, maybe 10 kilometers north from here. So, that's also a good idea. So, you guys have a bit of an idea of the, the range and the scope of the. The videos that I make. So we are getting out to the last station to Kukot. I know that here we're gonna be able to have a look outside again. Yeah, so the future rank city is in the back there. So I know this was a long one for me as well. I was just uh, thinking about it. I started from Asok and I went to the end station, then filled the whole thing and now I have to go back. So it's one and a half hour drive. So I was a total of three hours in the train when I'm finished, but it's well worth it. I thought it was a nice idea to show you guys the whole thing. I know a lot of people were waiting for this one. And um, if you hear this, you hear me talking, it means that you, you went through the whole trip. And uh, I think it's interesting. I like to take the trains, so I don't mind filming it and I don't mind uh, sharing the information. So here you have the terminus of the train. So this is where they park all the trains at night. 
or a big part of it. I know there is another terminus, I think, in Mochit. I can get out. We're gonna get some disinfectation here. Everything to make sure that uh, everything will be less chance of getting COVID. So I hope you enjoyed this update. It should have been an 88 minutes ride according to uh, the website of the BTS. And if you buy a ticket at the moment, it's 59 baht to do the whole road. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of discounts on uh, on all the new, you know, all the new tracks. So there were plans in the, that they would, uh, you know, put the prices up, but luckily that didn't happen yet. Otherwise, it would be very expensive to get. Uh... <laughs> this guy is filming the disinfectation. Should I run behind him? Nah. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this update. If you did, feel free to subscribe, drop me a line, press the like button, and see you guys in my next uh, video.